Welcome to SSL Setup for External Web Services. The goal of this presentation is to make sure SSL connections can be established between a your server and a third-party web service using SSL. In order to accomplish that goal, we will need three main components. That's Developer Studio, needed for setup and filter mapping, a your server used to execute the filter at runtime, and also the external web service that will provide the whistle and also the responses at runtime. Consider that there are also an underlying component that's very important to accomplish this, that is the Java runtimes for both AR Server and Developer Studio and the key stores. We need to make sure that we are able to access the whistle of such web service from two locations. One is the Developer Studio machine and the other one is the AR Server machine. You can simply use a browser to access those URLs but uh, if other tools are available, such as curl or wget, they can also be used. And once you can access them, the whistles, please use a tool to verify the validity of such certificate. Here we can see on the left that a certificate is valid and on the right that the certificate is not valid. Both of these web services are replying on HTTPS. They have SSL setup. And the only difference is that one certificate is valid, secure, and the other one is not considered secure. If the certificate is valid on a browser, this means that a well-known certificate authority has signed it. So you can start loading the URL on Developer Studio, map the filter, and execute the filter, and you're done. The integration is complete using SSL. However, if the certificate is not valid, please continue. This means that a well-known certificate authority was not involved. This happens most of the time because of the cost associated to maintain or pay for the certificate authority to sign the certificate. However, if a valid certificate authority is involved, you may skip all these manual steps. Then you need to download the certificate from a browser and save it as a SER file. Import the certificate file on Developer Studio Keystore, then repeat this operation on the AR Server Keystore. We need to restart both Developer Studio and AR Server and finally, we can continue with mapping the filter and executing it. How to export the certificate from a browser? Load the URL, then click in the non-secure icon, go to certificate, go to details, copy to file, click next, keep this SER or DR encoded library, use valid file name, click next, finish, and export this successful. How to find the key store used in Developer Studio? Open Developer Studio path. Open the Dev Studio INI file in Notepad or Notepad++. Find the path of Java. Open that path. Go to the lib security folder. And the key store is the CA search file. How to find the key store used in AR server? Open the AR server config file. Find the Java path. Then open that Java path in your file system explorer go to leap security folder and the key store would be CA search file. How to import a certificate in a key store? Once the key store file has been identified, open it in key store explorer. The default password for any Java key store is change it. Once the key store has been opened, use the import trusted certificate icon. Enter the alias and save the file. Whatever the process is using this key store needs to be restarted. After importing the certificates, you can test again from both Developer Studio and AR Server. We can safely build a filter that will call that web service. In this case, I'm reloading the whistle. We can finish the mapping and invoke that web service. Thank you.